wear all your favorite hats at the same time? Well, we wouldn't either. That is why we suggest you use only what you need. Switch off all electrical appliances and lights in a newsroom. Remember, use only what you need and save power today. Switch and save. Zesco, powering the nation. Apple Max. Take it to the max. Want to just get out of town with your friends and family? Are you having a corporate getaway and have no adequate transport? Then this here is what you need to listen to. A brand new 35-seater Yutong luxury bus is now up for hire at an affordable and negotiable rate. It comes fully equipped with aircon, TV for your relaxation, music, soothing your trip, and DVD players to give you variety. Book now by calling 0955 0966-0977-844-141. What makes the new Yo-Yo Chipsy so unique? 100% natural ingredients. Nothing artificial. Just a pure experience of freshness. Potato chips. We know you'll love them. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. A warm welcome to Prime TV's main news. Uh, to present it, uh, my name is uh, Daniel Tonga. We take a look at what is making the headlines. Hundreds uh, turn up for Hakainde Hichilema's nomination at the Supreme Court. Rainbow Coalition cautions civil society groups against being partisan. MMD President Dr. Nevas Mumba expels Muhavi Lungu and Chembe Nyangu. And in foreign news, U.S. Secret Service Review finds uh, deep problems. These and other interesting stories right after this. Now the news in detail. 
Hundreds of people flock to Supreme Court grounds in Lusaka to show their support for UPND leader Haka Inde Hichlema as he went to file his nomination. The supporters started flocking to the Supreme Court grounds as early as 10 hours ahead of Haka Inde Hichlema's time to file in his nomination at 15 hours. And UPND leader Haka Inde Hichlema has successively filed in his nomination at the Supreme Court in Lusaka. Speaking after he filed in his nomination, Mr. Hichlema assured the masses of a better economy once elected. Meanwhile, following the huge numbers that turn up, journalists had a tough time to find a right spot to get a good shots. Prime TV cameraman Mianda Kembe had to be lifted up by UPND supporters for 30 minutes to enable him find a spot to get a shot of Mr. Hichlema. Now, all the MMD members of parliament who were supporting embattled former President Rupia Banda have thrown their weight towards the UPND and its leader, Hakainde Hichlema. Some of the MPs who have openly declared the support for the UPND leader include MMD Sinda, MP Levin Goma, Kasempa MP Kavinga Pande, and Victoria Kalima of Kasenengwa, among several others. The MPs made the announcement at the Supreme Court shortly after the UPND leader filed his nomination. United National Independence Party President Tilianji Kaunda has successively filed in his nomination at the Supreme Court. Speaking after filing in his nomination, Unit President Tilianji Kaunda says time has come to stop a culture of pangas in the country. Mr. Kaunda says politics of violence has no place in the country, hence the need to vote for a party that believes in peace. He adds that once UNIP is elected into office, he will ensure that a constitution is delivered. Mr. Kaunda says his party will also ensure that jobs are provided to all the youths in the country. He adds that previous governments have failed to improve the country's economy, hence the need to bring in a new government. Meanwhile, a fourth revolution president, Eric Chanda, has also successfully filed in his nomination. Zambia Union of Nurses Organization Zuno has welcomed government's decision to reinstate all the fired nurses, midwives, and other health workers. Zuno President Tom Yang Yungana says his organization was elated by the development because it is a timely Christmas present 
to the health sector. He says it is pleasing that government has heard the cries of the general public who were the most affected because the dismissal of health workers had a negative impact on health service delivery. Mr. Yungana said this in a statement made available to Prime TV in Lusaka. He has appealed to government to be sensitive and proactive towards workers' plight, especially regarding salaries and conditions of service. The Rainbow Coalition has cautioned civil society organizations against being partisan. Coalition President Cleophas Piri has noted with sadness a tendency by some NGOs aligning themselves with political parties to an extent of even endorsing some presidential candidates. He says such behavior should not be condoned as it puts the civil society in a very compromising situation, adding that the civil society needs to be a guide to government and not a player of political issues. He has since called on all civil society organization with an aim of promoting good governance to do so without compromising their morals. The NGO's role is to give checks and balances both to, uh, to government and to the opposition and any other you know, uh, 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 organization that uh, requires uh, being uh, uh, aligned to you know to something, but however, I think uh, what has transpired in the past elections from uh, uh, 2011 and this year, we are seeing uh, this thing of uh, people supporting or endorsing political parties. I think it's a bad recipe for democracy. I think that uh, it takes away the neutrality of civil society because we are meant to be the referees in any given situation. We now take our first break. Join us for other interesting stories right when we return. all your favorite hats at the same time? Well, we wouldn't either. That is why we suggest you use only what you need. Switch off all electrical appliances and lights in a newsroom. Remember, use only what you need and save power today. Switch and save. Zesco, powering the nation. What's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real because you look so free. So let's chill. Have a drink with a guy like me. Apple Max, baby. You need to give me Apple Max, baby. A quality product from Californian Beverages. Welcome back. The movement for multi-party democracy MMD has with immediate effect expelled its national secretary Muhavi Lungu and his deputy Chembe Nyangu. MMD president Nevas Mumba made the announcement at a media briefing in Osaka Friday morning. Dr. Mumba says the two have been expelled from the party for gross indiscipline and insubordination. 
He has since replaced Mr. Lungu with a Chembe MMD member of parliament, Mwansambula Kulima, to be assisted by Winnie Zalomis. The move comes just a day since the Supreme Court legalized Dr. Mumba as the legal president of the MMD. I have made the following decisions that I'm going to pend uh, the National Executive Committee meeting. I have, with immediate effect, expelled Mr. Muhabi Lungu from his position. I have further expelled his deputy, Mr. Nyangu. With immediate effect for not only insubordination, but gross indiscipline. Meanwhile, Dr. Mumba has laughed at the last-minute maneuvers by the PF to canvass for votes through their instatement of the fired nurses. Dr. Mumba states that Zambians are not dull to realize that the PF has done this to win the sympathy of the electorate. He says Zambians will not be woodwinked in voting for the PF following what they have been subjected to by the PF in the last three years. On Thursday, government through the minister through the minister of health, Dr. Joseph Kasonde, announced that it had reinstated all the fired nurses who were dismissed in December 2013 by President uh, uh, Michael Sata, the late. Unfortunately, the Patriotic Front had to wait until the election before they can uh, say they have restored the nurses. It's not even true that they have restored all nurses. Some of the nurses are in London now. Some of them are in Botswana working in different countries. So I don't know what they mean by they have restored all of them. Um, they have injured the, the health institutions, and no Zambian should um, uh, give it any ear. It's a fluke, and there's no need for us to give it any attention. It will need a new president, uh, in this case myself and the team that will come in to correct the many wrongs that have been committed by the Patriotic Front. So this is just window dressing, bandaging a wound that does not need a bandage, it needs amputation. And I think that um, uh, time to amputate the PF has come so that we can move forward and make sure that we reinstate sanity in governments. Uh, people living with disabilities have urged parents with physically challenged children uh, to ensure that their children are given a chance to get educated. Persons with disabilities spokesperson Elijah Ngwale says children with disabilities need to be given equal rights like anyone else. Professor Ngwale says most times blind children are denied access to education by their parents, adding that there is need for parents to change their mindset. He adds that the Ministry of Education Education has provided facilities for children that are disabled and parents need to take the opportunity and ensure that their children are given a better life. That, uh, one thing in, we have not done in Zambia is that we have not established institutions of such disabilities, the blind and deaf. So what I, what, what I would say myself, I would recommend very seriously that the uh, she goes to the Ministry of Education. Why Ministry of Education? Because she is of she's she's too uh, somebody who can go to school. Go to if she can find her way to Doctor uh, Doctor John Piri, Doctor John Piri, Honorable John Piri, Minister of Education. Kawata aspiring member of parliament, Clement Tembo, has commended government for reinstating the entire fired health workers. Mr. Tembo says it is gratifying that government has finally decided to rescind its decision over the fired nurses, adding that the move has lessened the financial pressure on the families. He says despite the reversal having been long overdue, many people need to know the important thing Many people need to know that the important thing is to ensure that the nurses have gotten back their jobs, including their benefits. And Mr. Tembo has also commended the Supreme Court for upholding the rule of law for reinstating Nevis Mumba as MMD presidential candidate. On Wednesday, Health Minister Dr. Joseph Kasonde announced that government has re-engaged all 570 nurses that were fired for staging in an illegal strike in 2013. 
are so excited that uh, they've been registered. And a lot of families, all these, you know, these are family people, and uh, their families were suffering so much. So I'm delighted to note that actually the government, even though it has been done probably at a very late stage, and people may think it's just for political mileage. Well, uh, we do. for me, I don't care really. But the most important thing is that the main objective is that uh, the nurses have been, you know, reinstated and uh, they, they, they have not lost anything. You know, their, um, their benefits and everything is intact. And that is what's very important for us. I'm delighted that uh, uh, everything is settled and most of the cases have been resolved and uh, there's a clear indication that uh, who's going to stand. We know who's going to represent which political party. I think with uh, this development, we'd like to commend the courts. It's rare that our people want to commend the courts. I think the courts have done a good job. It's now set to the you know candidates to give the people the right stuff. I mean, we've, uh, we want the, the, the presidential aspirants I mean, to look into the young people. I've always spoken about the young people. We'll not stop sounding monotonous because this is very important. We are going for a second break. Join us for other interesting stories after this. Apple Max. Take it to the max. What makes the new Yo-Yo Chipsy so unique? 100% natural ingredients. Nothing artificial. Just a pure experience of freshness. Potato chips. We know you'll love them. Welcome back now in foreign news. Kenyan a President Uhuru Kenyatta signed in a contested anti-terror bill and has blasted parliamentarians for their conduct a day prior. Uh, the new law passed on Thursday was passed amid chaotic scenes in Parliament and a brawl between opposition and government MPs. The law gives authority sweeping powers to crack down on terror suspects and curtail press freedoms. The law has, however, also come under criticism by human rights groups and nine Western countries for its alleged infringement of democratic freedoms. But President Uhuru Kenyatta on Friday appealed to the Kenyans to read the legislation. The United States, Britain, Germany and France warned of the law's impact on Wednesday in a rare collective statement. The U.S. Secret Service is an insular against agency that needs a new director hired from outside to improve training according to former government officials who examined the embattled agency after a man with a knife stormed the White House. An executive summary of the highly classified review revealed deep problems at the top of the Secret Service which is charged with guarding the U.S. President and other senior government officials. Homeland Security Secretary Jen Johnson said in a statement that the recommendations are astute, though, and fair. Johnson appointed a four-member in independent panel in October after a, after a September 19th intrusion by, it, by an Iraq war veteran who scaled the White House fence, springed across the lawn, and got deep inside the, mans the mansion before an off-duty agent stopped him. We did monitor Al Jazeera on these and other interesting stories.
Jazeera has spoken to Iraqi Kurdish forces who are fighting ISIL in the northern Sinjar Mountains. They have made significant gains after battles to free the Yazidis under siege, but fighting is ongoing to secure the area. U.S. airstrikes in Iraq, meanwhile, have been backing Kurdish Peshmerga forces since September in their fight against ISIL. The Pentagon has confirmed that the raids have killed some high-profile ISIL leaders. One of them was the deputy to ISIL chief al-Baghdadi. U.S. defense officials see this as a significant blow to the command and control of the armed group. The United States says it will not support a draft resolution on Palestinian statehood proposed to the UN Security Council. Jordan introduced a motion at the Security Council on Wednesday calling for an end to the Israeli occupation of Palestinian lands. We have seen the draft. Uh, it is not something we would support and we think others feel the same and are calling for further consultations. The Palestinians understand that. You may have also seen President Abbas speak to this earlier today and have said they support continued consultations and are not pushing for a vote on this now. Pakistan has detained one of the key plotters of the 2008 Mumbai attacks. Just 24 hours earlier, Zaykur Rahman Lakhvi's release on bail drew sharp criticism from India. New Delhi has in the past accused Islamabad of being slow to prosecute those accused of planning the Mumbai attacks. The bodies of eight children have been found in a home in the Australian city of Cairns. Police say the children aged between 18 months and 15 years old were found with stab wounds on Friday morning. The mother of seven of the children is in hospital with stab wounds to her chest. Protests are continuing in Haiti. Thousands of people march through the capital, Port-au-Prince, calling for President Michel Martelly to resign. The violence took place after armed civilians reportedly shot at protesters. The Prime Minister and his cabinet resigned on Sunday. And there is now pressure on Martelly himself to appoint an interim Prime Minister. The demonstrators accuse the government of corruption. And as we conclude the news, we take a recap of what made the headlines. Hundreds turn up for Haka Inde Hichlema's nomination at the Supreme Court. Rainbow Coalition cautions civil society groups against being partisan. MMD President Dr. Nevas Mumba expels Muhavi Lungu and Chembe Nyangu. In foreign news, U.S. Secret Service review finds a deep problem. And that's just about what we had on the news, on behalf of the news department and the production crew. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been Daniel Tonga. Enjoy the rest of our programming. Bye-bye. Hey girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you for just a minute. Where you live and what you like to do? Okay, I'm just trying to get with someone real Cause you look so free, so let's chill Have a drink with a guy like me Apple Max, baby You need to give me Apple Max, baby A quality product from Californian Beverages favorite hats at the same time? Well, we wouldn't either. That is why we suggest you use only what you need. 
Switch off all electrical appliances and lights in unused rooms. Remember, use only what you need and save power today. Switch and save. Zesco, powering the nation.